My name is Alfred, and I'm going to talk about the ethical justification of prisoners. So my real life situation. Norway spent two, $252 million in 10 years building the world's most humane prison. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that the capacity of this prison is only 250 prisoners, which compared to the US is quite low. OK, and now I'm going to show a video um, of a short clip of Harvard Prison uh, and a um, little opinion uh, from um, the uh, prison, prison director uh, from Attica Prison in New York. If I was going to Attica's honor block and pick four or five inmates and set them down and said, here's your project for a day, I want you to draw me up the prison of your dreams. They would probably come back with some kind of a hall of mouth. This is prison utopia. This is the best prison you could ever imagine if you were an inmate. That's far from a prison in my in that experience. Yeah. So far from a prison in my experience. That's you know, the American view. Or is this guy's view? Um, I had a picture of home prison outside. It looks not like a prison at all. Um, yeah. And um, first I want to show you, uh, this <coughs> is the... Um, Organization um, that is like um, representative or like um, that is working at the prison, and uh, this is Norwegian name Kevinar Omsorgen, which means the criminal sort of um, um, sympathy or you know like caring. It, so it's like the, the word itself is like like raise a lot of questions like why should we care for prisoners um, when they do horrible crimes such as murder and maybe rape and mass murder and other things and they say a prison sentence should be a lot of freedom not other basic human rights which is Norwegian mentality um, so to what extent is realization justifying the prisoner or his act you know, so um, the prisoners, like usually some people are uh, in prison because of horrible things, um, but, uh, such as rape and murder, as I said. But like this sort of prison model is actually um, good for people that are, uh, like, for example, if they uh, commit a robbery, this, this is like not that punishing. And it's sort of like, okay, maybe thinking about the reason or uh, why, you know. Um, so yeah. And then the connection to the real life situation. Uh, so re rehabilitation was just uh, retribution. Uh, retribution, they use this is the form they use in uh, the United States. It's um, like, uh, instead of rehabilitation, Rehabilitating, it's more of like trying to punish or like to uh, condemn them for what they did. Um, and um, I just wanted to add that um, retribution might be relative, uh, and that maybe rehabilitation is uh, the go to uh, model. Um, yeah. And also, another thing that is uh, quite interesting is that the recidivism rate. Um, Recidivism is like um, after the prisoner is released, like um, what's the percentage of uh, him committing a crime again? And in Norway, after five years, it's only 20%. Uh, while in the um, US, uh, it's as high as 80%, as 80%, which is could tell us something that maybe uh, there's a, you know, this, that rehabilitation is a better form, a better way. And um, yeah, and now I just want to say that uh, our ways of knowing, so the society's emotion and reason might affect um, our view on rehabilitation or retribution. These are my areas of knowledge, human science and ethics. These are my ways of knowing, reason and emotion. 
So human science is the study of human behavior, uh, and ethics is uh, the study of what is right and what is wrong. Uh, reason uh, is uh, a reasoning, um, what we come, come to with logic, etc. And emotion is our own feeling, personal feeling. Or why, even why, why do we, can we, are we able to pay out of prison? 
Uh, and then and then people abuse of welfare benefits. For example, you lie to the government that you're blind or you can't work due to bad problems. This is a major problem. Uh, and then capital punishment. It's still used in 32 states and the federal government. Now we're talking about USA. This is um, very old fashioned. Um, so yeah, US, I feel like US has to move on a little bit with their prison model. And this is a typical US prison cell. It's not very luxurious. And um, here we have the Norwegian prison cell in Halton Prison. This is, uh, uh, looks even better than my room. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there is a conclusion. Rehabilitation is a righteous form of punishment. But it might not be wiser in certain situations, situations like rape or mass murder. Thank you for your attention.